There's a resolution honoring Brad Cloud, or Bradley S. Cloud. I'm sorry, I said that incorrectly. <laughs> Dr. Bradley S. Cloud, a delightful person, uh, who is uh, retiring after 30 years of dedicated services to Kern County. Supervisor Gleason is going to make this presentation. Do I need a motion? Yeah, we need a motion to adopt. So I move motion on adoption. Please cast your votes. The motion is approved four eyes, one absent. Supervisor Scrivener. Dr. Cloud, could you come to the front, please? <laughs> Bradley, 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 <laughs> what are we doing? So uh, it truly is an honor to uh, take a moment, Brad, to uh, stop the world from spinning for a little bit and talk about the good stuff and talk about uh, 30 years of dedicated service since 1988, holy mackerel. Uh, and your family to take uh, part of this uh, event is truly uh, meaningful for all of us, not just you, but for all of us watching and all of us county employees have looked to you for leadership for so many years, we're thankful to be able to do this. Despite your heritage as a UCLA grad, <laughs> the football team isn't doing so good, is it, Bradley? <laughs> Sorry. But let's talk about uh, 30 years. For a minute. Let's stop and talk about 30 years and what it means to uh, Brad, what it means to uh, his family. but. More importantly, what it means to, uh, to Kern County and the contributions he's made to not only our organization and not only as a leader in our community, but uh, the impact that he has had on the quality of life of uh, residents in Kern County for 30 years, Brad. He began his career in the Behavioral Health and Recovery Services, formerly Mental Health Department, in September of 1988 as a Mental Health Counselor One in the Forensic Service Division, quickly moved up in July of 89 to a clinical psychologist, promotion of psychologist two, uh, followed in May of 1991. So he's moving up the ladder. Uh, he's building his career. He moves to administrator two for adult outpatient services, Bakersfield Adult Community Services. I mean, I go, I, I'm gonna touch about on every aspect of behavioral health in our county. You've had your finger in some way, shape, or form in either creating it or leading it or, or, or giving it the rudder that it needs to affect the people that you are committed to serving for, thir for 30 years. It, it's remarkable. I, I was going through reading this, I said, holy mackerel. Dr. Cloud was involved in the numerous complex projects during his county career. He was the primary author of the MHSA Assertive Community Treatment, Adult Wraparound di Dialectic Behavioral Therapy, Volunteer Senior Outreach Program, Wellness Independence and Senior Enrichment Programs. Served as a liaison with the two local managed care plans. Represented Kern BHRS in developing, implementing, and overseeing Laura's Law Assisted Outpatient Treatment. Sustained Treatment and Recovery Court, the STAR Court. Collaborative Mental Health Court that centers on treatment of behavioral health issues. He has planned, directed, and overseen the professional staff development and training program, including university advanced level practicum placement for a master of social work, marriage, family therapist, nursing programs. It's, it's nonstop. Dr. Cloud's dedication to those with mental illness and those in recovery and commitment to serving the public has earned him the respect, admiration of peers and colleagues. Words fail to capture the essence of his commitment to this population or to his management skills. Dr. Cloud, thank you very much for your time. I'm gonna pass this off to Bill. And uh, Dr. Cloud is leaving us, he's going to Montana. I don't think anybody moved to Montana anymore, but they do. <laughs> and they're up there fly fishing and he's gonna have a, a well-deserved uh, retirement, Brad. Thank you very much, we'll talk again. Good morning, Chairman, members of the board, uh, Bill Walker, your current behavioral health and recovery services administrator. Today is the day of celebration, but first I'm gonna put a dollar right here, because when Brad talks, Brad gets emotional because he really cares about what he's doing, so I'm gonna put that dollar here. So if you're able to get through this, you get the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> so we've known each other for the whole 30 years. I was, uh, last week when, when Dick Taylor retired, and you guys talked about the connection between the two of you. So our wives are both licensed clinical social workers. They're both retired. Uh, one actually um, 
uh, was, I supervised Deanna at one point, his wife, and at one point he supervised my wife, so we had all kinds of opportunity to really mess each other over. Um, <laughs> we live less than a mile apart from each other. Our birthdays are less than three weeks apart. And uh, his moving away is very meaningful to me because we've been friends for decades. That being said, I'd like all the people who are here to represent Brad to go ahead and stand up so you, the Board of Supervisors can see you. These are all people he has mentored, worked with, shepherded through the years. He's touched thousands of lives and then through his training and the different things, tens of thousands of lives through the years. He is a good man. He is a good husband. He is a county ambassador for care and has been for 30 years and he is my friend. With that, I hand it over to Brad. Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to get that dollar. <laughs> Double down. Pre pressure's on. Um, so uh, th thank you very much. Um, I'm just humbled um, to be standing here and to be, to be so honored. Um, thank you, Supervisor Gleason, for the fine words, and thank you, Bill, as well. Um, I am uh, I am proud to be here by uh, people who've supported me throughout uh, my life, um, and you know, particularly the last 30 years. Um, my my wife Deanna uh, behind us here, who retired after 29 years with uh, with the mental health department. My father-in-law is behind me, and then. My, uh, my mother, um, Chick, um, who uh, was married to my father, who served as a deputy chief probation officer and retired after 25 years as well. So uh, I, I now have outlasted both my wife and my father in my uh, <laughs> public service, and I'm very uh, proud and pleased to have done so. Um, things have changed tremendously in the last 30 years. When, when I started, I walked into the Mary Kay Schill building, the only building of our department. Um, with 84 staff in that building. And now we have over 900 positions um, working in uh, 22 different locations. Um, we've grown a lot. Um, we've grown to support the needs of people who suffer from mental health and substance use conditions in Kern County. It really has been um, an honor and a pleasure um, to have worked alongside many fine professionals who every day uh, change their work schedules, come to work early, stay late, um, find food to give somebody who needs it, uh, find things, uh, bring things from their ho homes to help them uh, live on their own in their own apartments, listen to unspeakable suffering, watch the amazing triumphs they have over very adverse circumstances. And I, I've just been very proud um, to be among uh, the very fine mental health and substance use treatment professionals we have in our community. I've had the honor of getting to know each each of you uh, a little bit as well, and um, have appreciated the support you've given us through many important initiatives that we do. Um, most recently, I was here because of Laura's Law and assisted outpatient treatment, and certainly appreciate the board's commitment and dedication to improving the lives of all Kern County residents, but especially those who are who are suffering. And so. Um, I want to conclude by just saying thank, thank you again for this great honor. I really appreciate it. Two dollars, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> this is yours, Brad. This is yours. I'll take my notes. Can we get some pictures? Should we just get some pictures? Absolutely. Brad, as you're, as you're teeing up for the picture, I wanted to say that one of the things I've noticed about you is the great empathy you have for people. It's apparent that you care about them. And um, I know that with empathy comes a significant price that's paid by the person who is relating to all the people you've cared for over the years. So I know that's exacted a heavy uh, price in your life, and I hope you are now able to set that aside and enjoy uh, a long, long, re good retirement in Montana with your beautiful wife. Thank you very much. Anybody else want to say anything? Great. Congratulations. Outstanding. Good job, Brad. That's awesome. You owe me. <laughs> speech in half to stop crying. Yeah, it's not <laughs> Next we have a proclamation.